Hi fellow language survivors, my name is Eagle Bong and today I have the pleasure to be with French tutor, language coach and self-published author Julien Moulin and we're going to be learning how to survive in French. I recommend you watch my first video as a reference because we'll be going over all the words and expressions I present there. Alright, so you never know what could happen in life, especially when you travel. Paris might be one of the most visited places in the world, but you could end up like the girl in the movie Taken, so you better watch out for yourself. So let's say you managed to escape your perpetrators, but you've been tortured. You're lacking sleep, food and water. The latter is the first word in my toolkit, water, which is fundamental to survive, right? So how would you say that in French? Absolutely. Well, in French, the word water is eau. eau. I know it's a bit counterintuitive because it's written E-A-U, but it's pronounced eau. But you can't just say eau because people can be confused with other homonyms like eau of en eau. Yeah, okay, this is a bit messed up also because it's written completely differently, but it's pronounced the same way, O, oh, and it means up high. So if you want to ask for water, you would actually need to say de l'eau, de l'eau, de l'eau, which means some water, and it erases all confusion, de l'eau. If you want a complete, polite sentence, you may ask, donnez-moi de l'eau, s'il vous plaît. Donnez-moi de l'eau, s'il vous plaît. Donnez-moi is give me, and s'il vous plaît means please. Donnez-moi de l'eau, s'il vous plaît. Donnez-moi and s'il vous plaît are obviously very useful phrases, but realistically speaking, the most natural way to say it would be de l'eau, s'il vous plaît. De l'eau, s'il vous plaît. The second thing is when you can't survive by yourself and you need to ask for help. How would you say that? How would you do that in French? There are two ways to do it. In English, the word help can be a noun or a verb. In French, the translation for the noun is aide. Aide. Now, when you shout help in English, you're using the imperative form of the verb, but the closest translation would be à l'aide. À l'aide. À l'aide. As a verb, you could say aidez-moi. 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 Which literally means help me. We saw how to say please while asking for water, so could you guess how to say help me please? It's aidez-moi s'il vous plaît. Aidez-moi s'il vous plaît. The other way to say help is au secours. But you shorten it a little bit and it becomes au secours. Au secours. Au secours. Secours means like uh, rescue. And actually, it's very common and natural to combine both. À l'aide, au secours. So the third word is sorry. It's something you can use to be smoother when you approach someone. In the street, for example. Or if you accidentally disrespected a person. How would you say that? Here are also two ways. Sorry would be désolé. 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 The whole sentence I am sorry would be je suis désolé. Je suis désolé. This is what you would use when you did something wrong, like hurt someone's feelings. But otherwise, just like in English, you can say excuse me. In French, that would be excusez-moi. 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 This phrase could be used for both approaching a stranger or ask for forgiveness. But if you want to emphasize more on the fact that you're sorry, you'd probably say je m'excuse, je m'excuse, which is closer to je suis désolé, while being a little lighter. But again, you can actually combine them. Excusez-moi, je suis désolé. Number four is what's this, what's that, so that you can learn new words in the other language by pointing your finger at things. I will also probably need to give you several options here. The closest translation would be c'est quoi ça? C'est quoi ça? C means it's, quoi is what, and ça means that. So the order of the words are a bit different from English, but that's how you would say it naturally, pointing your finger at things. If you're really pointing your finger at something and you want to emphasize on it like this thing here, how is it called? That would be comment ça s'appelle ça? Comment ça s'appelle ça? So you repeat ça. You could also add en français at the end, which means in French, comment ça s'appelle en français? Comment ça s'appelle en français? How is it called in French? Comment ça s'appelle en français? But if it's something that's not visible or a conceptual term, you can say comment dit-on the word you want to translate en français? Comment dit-on Apple en français? Comment dit-on supercalifragilisticexpialidocious en français? <laughs> Good try. We use the same word but with the French accent. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Now, in some situations, like if you arrive in a small town that is not used to strangers, you're probably going to need to introduce yourself. So, how would you say my name is? Again, there are several ways to do that. The literal translation is mon nom est. Mon nom est. Mon nom est. 
and then your name, which works perfectly fine. Mon nom est Julien Moulin. Mon nom est Eagle Bang. Now that you know the word name, you could already probably guess how to ask someone's name with the previous sentence. C'est quoi ça? So that makes, c'est quoi votre nom? C'est quoi votre nom? What is your name? C'est quoi votre nom? There's a different way to say my name is, people might know it's je m'appelle. Je m'appelle. Je m'appelle. And then your name. Je m'appelle Julien Moulin. Je m'appelle Eagle Bong. Very small words, but they should not be underestimated. How do you say yes and no? Yes, of course, though I feel like most people already know them. So yes is oui and no is non. Oui et non. That's very nasal. Non. The last word on our list is thank you. How can I show my appreciation if someone helped me? Thank you is merci. Merci. And if you want to take it to the next level, you could try to say merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup, which means thank you very much. Well, merci. And let's have a look at all the words we learned today. De l'eau, s'il vous plaît. À l'aide. Au score. Excusez-moi. C'est quoi ça? Mon nom est? Oui. Et non? Merci. Merci beaucoup, Julien, for this awesome video. I hope this is going to help a lot of people traveling in France. Mon nom est Eagle Bong, and this was 7 expressions to survive in French.